Nine ten. Never sleep again. Here's your look at the Coda Bikia artifacts. Freddy Krueger one six scale pre painted PVC statue. Kota Pekia is proud to present the Freddy Krueger PVC statue from A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4, The Dream Master. First thing we're going to do for Freddy Krueger is to find out how tall he stands. He's a pretty considerably tall statue when it's all said and done, but just how tall? Let's take the Ultra Measure Tron 5000 and find out exactly. According to my tape measure, the one that I call the Ultra Measure Tron 5000, you're looking at the statue standing at a very impressive 10 and a half inches in height, which in centimeters works out right now to be 26.8, almost 27 centimeters tall. Getting the statue out of packaging, it does come with four parts. I'll show you those parts right now. It comes with a circular display base with what I can only guess to be the interior of a boiler room. You know, Freddy's home away from home, if you will. Uh, there is on the top here a larger brother peg and a slightly smaller little brother peg. Telling you exactly which way the feet plug into place. I'll show you that in a second. You can see on one side there is what looks to be a ventilation grate. Uh, on the side of the flooring and the rest of the flooring has these nice little cracks and just little dimples and stuff of texturing really like that uh, attaching this to freddy's feet when you look at them ignore this one even though it does look like there is a hole there i'm not really sure why there's specifically a hole there but you want to be focusing your attention over here larger hole smaller hole hey we just visited that visiting the family of pegs I'm going to attach it like so. So he's actually walking away from the grate on the flooring there. And there you am plugged into place. It stays relatively secure. I mean, not that you would want to be shaking it at all, but it does stay in place and it keeps Freddy in place while you're doing the other bit of assembly. This is the part that at the beginning of this review I had already attached in place reluctantly, but for the purpose of this review and to show you guys what is involved. I was brave enough to take the hand back off. Now, the reasoning why I have real such reluctancy with doing this again is because these are very thin, very thin finger blades, as you could probably guess it. These are all made of plastic. And when you are attaching the hand, oh, I don't like doing this, you'll see that the peg right here is a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger than the smaller socket that's in its sleeve. One instance in which uh, Kota Bikia has done this before with magnets. I really would have been thrilled if they could have used magnets for this instead of using forced pegs. Because you do have to force it quite a bit, and there's really not a whole lot of areas when you can kind of get your fingers around those blades. So you just got to be really, really careful. And I found it actually didn't help my cause at all to push in the peg. Rather instead, if you twist it back and forth while you're applying pressure. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, 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 twist. Chubby Checker was right when he wrote a song about the twist. And then you get you get the glove in place. 
something in which I'm not really wanting to do too often. So once you get that sort of in place, unless you have a reasoning to pack this back up and not take it, not have it on display anymore, I would really be just advocating don't take the hand off too often because one of these days, one of these days, you're going to put your finger against this and you're going to probably break off one of those blades. So just be a little bit careful of that. The other thing that Freddy, Fred Krueger does come included with, of course, is his fedora. Now, the fedora is made up of softer plastic. Not quite super soft, but soft enough that you can compare it versus a slightly denser plastic that you would have used for his body. It is fairly airbrushed. You can get, see that there's a trim of a slightly darker brown to the otherwise lighter medium brown that's making up the rest of his fedora. There's what the interior looks like right there. Now, I will tell you this. Listen, Jack. When you are putting this on his head, it doesn't sit friction fitted. In other words, when you are putting it onto Fred's head, I rhymed right there, um, it doesn't actually sit in place. It sits really, really loose. And I guess that is a good thing. One of which, one of the main reasons is you're not gonna be causing damage to the sculpting of the head. If this was friction fitted, every single time you would be taking the head off, the hat off, putting the fedora back in place, you would run the risk of causing damage to the sculpt and to the paint. So keeping it loose necessarily isn't a bad thing. It does also allow you to get a little bit more customizable with the way you want to display Freddy's hat. I kind of like it myself personally, having it a little bit lower, so you almost don't even see Freddy's face. Not taking necessarily anything away from Kotobukiya's sculpt, because the sculpt is really good, but I kind of like the idea of having a lower portrait, uh, almost a hidden face, almost to the point where you really only are seeing Freddy's teeth, his very mangled teeth, and of course the bladed glove. So there's a couple of different options that you can go with right there. Let's look at some of the details that are on the statue. I'm going to go ahead for this and take the hat back off. We've already spent a lot of time talking about the hat. Obviously, Freddy Krueger here is decked in his trademark red and his green sweater. And I guess there is some debatable questioning as to whether that is actually a red. I almost see more so orange and green versus red and green. Kind of wish this, this was a darker color. In fact, actually, all the talking points about this particular statue kind of sit more on its paint, not necessarily its sculpt. I really do like the sculpt quite a bit. And just before I forget, because I know I may potentially forget, I get older after all, and with that the memory starts <laughs> slipping away from me. So we'll talk about this right now. He does have technically a little bit of posability, but a lot of that is really only just by the way that you attach the things in place. This hand was really already attached when you get it out of the box, but I just want to show you that you can rotate the hand all the way around. Slightly more awkward for Fred to have a hand kind of sitting like this, but you can do that if you want. And because the way we attach the glove already in place, as long as you're being careful doing this, you could in theory rotate the glove up. Still not sure how I want to do this. I kind of like personally the idea of him pointing at you with his pointer finger and the blade most extended out at you. But again, if you wanted to, you could kind of have it this way or you can have it this way. You get the idea. Uh, the head does have no articulation to speak of, but that's what you get for Fred Krueger. Okay, I know I was going to forget about that. My apologies kind of veered off course here. Let's talk again a little bit about the details here. Now, again, I spent some time uh, already discussing my feelings about the sweater. The sweater is decent enough, but like I said, the colors I feel are a little too light. The pants, I think they've done a pretty good job with, giving up browns and same sort of colors and colors as what they've given the fedora, which I just dropped. We'll have to go back and replace that and grab that later. Here are his shoes slightly scuffed up, a little bit of wear there on the toes, and a little bit of mud, just a tiny bit of mud on the under treads of the boots. Like I said, no problems with the boots, no, ne no necessarily no problems with the pants, and really no concerning issues with the sweater, other than the fact I think it should have been a little bit darker. Could they have potentially also gone in there and just added a little bit of the kind of threading grain to the sweater? Of course they could have. But overall, again, I'm not I'm not disappointed by this sort of color. Could have been a little bit darker, but uh, I'm pretty still happy with how it turned out. Now, let's have a look at his face. 
One ongoing trend that I have with this particular figure, if I was to kind of write down my talking points to a cue card, the talking points really would necessarily be great sculpt, but I think the paint could have been a little bit more, could have had a little bit more depth to it. I know we've already talked about the sweater, but sort of the same thing applies here for his face. I like the face sculpt, really with his mangled teeth, pardon the glove that seems to just want to invite itself over every single time. But the face sculpt is actually quite good. I like that. What I do think though that the head sculpt was lacking was a little bit of extra depth to the colors. In fact, actually, if you look at the box, it seems like they've used a little bit more darker tones to the, to the little scarred sections of his flesh. Kind of wish that we would have saw this here in the physical figure. And again, not necessarily a bad sculpt. Not my review, my, my points of interest are not, are not necessarily finding fault with, once again, the sculpt. The sculpt is good, but I think the paint probably could have been a little bit better. Slightly darker tones just kind of bringing out, and really that's the, that's the credit to the Cotopaquia releases, is the fact that the sculpts are really good, and generally the paint is pretty good too, except Freddy Krueger I just feel like gets needs this that little bit extra, just that little bit extra love. Here specifically in the face, just bringing in some of those darker flesh colors in there, just to kind of make a lot of those scars pop. And again, I know we beat the dead horse over talking about this, but again, the sweater feel as if it could have been slightly darker than what we're getting right here. As we've discussed, sort of starting our, our review with the glove, I suppose we can also finish this review with the glove. The glove here, being that it's Nightmare 4, has a slightly lighter tanned colored glove, whereas as you can see, the plates and the finger guards that are on the top here get a little bit more Kind of a bronze treatment. The blades get themselves a little bit of wear, a little bit of scuffing, and a little bit of aging there with a black wash of paint over top of it. Liking the gloves quite a bit. Like I said, again, I'm not necessarily disappointed in this figure. This statue of Freddy Krueger from Nightmare 4 that comes together rather nicely. It's got a nice pose, a more trademark pose that you would expect Freddy Krueger to have. Sculpt is good. I think really where it misses slight marks and very very slight marks is the fact that the paint could have been a little bit darker and some of the things i've mentioned in this review in final looks i've retrieved the fedora and put it where it rightfully belongs on top of fred krueger's head this is also something of which i want to mention as a praise to kota Bakia. i like the fact that they give you the option of having a removable hat on freddy krueger and that may sound strange to praise such a small feat, but really when you think about it, there's a lot of other companies producing Freddy Krueger collectibles like this that don't give you the option of having Freddy Krueger with or without the fedora, so I like the fact that you can do that. Also because it is removable, allows you to different angles and different ways that you can place the fedora. Personally speaking, as I said, I like to have it a little bit lower, a little bit past his eyesight, so really you're only seeing from basically like his nose down. I kind of like the dark mysteriousness of that. Overall, again, nice looking figure. This one is currently available. In fact, it just now started hitting comic book store shelves. So if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, I think overall I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Shy, of course, again, some of the things I had talked probably at nausea about, the colors should have been just a slight bit darker. A little bit darker in the red, of course, in the sweater. And I think his face could have really afforded a slightly darker tone of paint just to kind of bring out the sculpting, which was already there, that Code Bikia does so well with their statues. Again, if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4, The Dream Master, which by also, by the way, also happens to be one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Nightmare on Elm Street film of all time. Let me know down below what you guys think of this statue. Also, let me know down below what's your favorite Nightmare on Elm Street. I know most people usually gravitate towards the third one. Let me know down below. Any fans of the Dream Child? No, no, apparently there's no, there's no fans of the Dream Child. Stay tuned, guys. We're going to have some more videos coming soon to this channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure as well you hit that little, bit subscribe, little subscribe button down below. And like I said, we're going to have a look at some more Kota Bakia releases. If also, by chance, you guys are interested in following me outside of YouTube, did you know as well I do a Twitter and Instagram? 
yeah, I'm getting into Instagram as well. I'll put all those linkage links down below, delicious sausage links down below if you guys want to follow me in medias outside of the realm of the tube, the YouTube that is. And like I said, more videos will be coming soon. Stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next time.